hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to be talking about the season finale of the last of us man this show has been a hell of a ride man i'm so glad i was able to follow this show as it was running because my experience with this show throughout has been so fantastic honestly and before i go into the review i need to say i'm going to be talking about some details of this episode so if you don't want me to spoil it for you kindly click out watch the episode then come back to watch the review but if you've seen the episode, let's get into it. This episode starts out with a flashback and we get to see how Ellie became immune to the cordyceps. I didn't expect that was how she became immune, but it actually makes sense with the way they went about it. And I'm glad they gave us the reason why she's immune to it. I didn't expect that they were going to tell us why she was immune, but I'm glad they told us why she's immune. Speaking of Ellie, from last episode, she had to go through some crazy things and you could see it weighing on her in this episode. And so something that I wanted to see, I wanted to see how it was going to affect her and I'm glad they showed it and you could see it weighing on her. And Joel also could tell. He was just even trying to make her feel better about the whole thing. But, I mean, I think that thing really, really got to her and I can't blame her now. She's a young girl experiencing something like that, experiencing that kind of thing. It's hard to take its toll. And I'm glad like we could see it visually taking its toll on her. And Joe just trying to make her feel better just takes me back to the first episode when we first got introduced to them. You could see how these two characters were like opposite each other. They didn't want to have anything to do with themselves. Like they weren't even friends at all. But now you can see them after all these things that they've gone through together. You could see like this father and daughter relationship really becoming strong. And you could see how Joel was really, really feeling about this girl. Like he has taken her to be his daughter. If he doesn't go out and say it, you can see that Joel has taken this girl as his daughter and it was just something beautiful to see. Someone that has become a cynic, someone that does not care about the old world and just finally starting to care about this one little girl was just something that, that I really, really appreciated with the story. And it was so well done. Like, they've been, these characters have been coming together for a very long time with the way they started against each other and now seeing them together as this pair that we just want to see keep going together is something so beautiful. And I'm glad it played out the way it did. The sequence in the hospital towards the end of the episode when Joe was carrying Ellie. When I saw that image, it just immediately took me back to episode one when Joe was carrying his daughter and when his daughter got shot with her in his arms. And I just saw that and I was like, oh, these guys are mirroring what happened in the first season. And it just made me feel and just made me understand how much these guys have come together and how, how close they've become as a pair. And just seeing Joe carrying her and just... Holding her the same way he was holding his daughter in the beginning was something that I really, really appreciated. And just that image itself was enough to convey a lot of message to you. And it was so, so well done. He lost his daughter carrying her in his arms. Like, he would not want to go through that again. So just seeing I was protecting Ellie. And even before they got to that sequence, when he was killing all those people, like, he was killing them like they were flies. <laughs> That was beautiful to watch, honestly. And the fact that they didn't make a big deal out of that sequence. Like, they didn't go out showing them as was taking them one after the other. Like, making a big deal out of it. They just let the scene play out. And they just play the music in the background. Like, you could now understand Joe's mindset. Joe did not really care about all these people. He doesn't even care about anyone. The only person he cares about is Ellie. And if he, if he has to kill everybody to, go, to get to Ellie... He is going to do it. And that was what that sequence just felt like. Him just taking everyone out. So it was beautiful to see. And with the music that was playing in the background, it was just a very, very good scene. And I really enjoyed that scene. But I had an issue with this episode. I know I've said before in my previous reviews of previous episodes that I like that they don't focus more on the infected aspect of it. They focus on the dramatic aspect of the people aspect of it. And I like that. But in this episode, I think we needed to see the infected again in this episode because it would have created more conflict in the minds of the audience. Like, you can see the threats of the infected. We are seeing it again, we've seen it before, and we are seeing it again. So it makes us understand how big of a threat it really is. So, as the audience, you might be thinking in your mind, should we just let this thing keep going? Like, should we let this infected keep affecting the whole world as it is and eventually wipe out the whole world? Or we should sacrifice this character that we love and cure or get rid of the infect the problem of the infected. But because we did not see any of the infected this episode, because it isn't in a while since the scene we've seen the infected in a large mass. Because I haven't seen them in a long time, it made me it made me think that okay, these people are not even really a threat now. So why do I need to bother about sacrificing this character I love for the rest of the world that I don't even care about? But if you had seen the infected 
go one more time it will enter your mind like this is a really big conflict to get the cure and kill our beloved character or to just let the world keep going on the rampage i don't want the character to die i don't want ellie to die but i feel like it would have hit much harder if we had seen the infected one more time so it would have come to our mind and to just create this kind of conflict in our mind to see if this is what we want to do or this is what we want to do but because we didn't see the infected it's made the decision of saving ellie so much easier i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say but i just feel like the infected could have been in this episode to create more conflict in the minds of the audience but it didn't happen like that well it's just one little problem with this episode for me but all in all this season of the last of us has been fantastic everything about this show was superb from the acting the directing the story the characters the set designs the special effects and the makeup oh my god everything in this show has been flawless honestly and i really really enjoyed it and i'm so so glad i followed this show now i'm just sad that this show has ended and my Mondays won't be as exciting as they've been for the last few months. But all the same, I know this video is going to come out with something good again for me to continue watching. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to the season 2 of The Last of Us because HBO has announced and they've renewed it for a second season. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. So have you guys seen the season finale of The Last of Us? What do you think about it? What do you think about the season in general? Comment below and let me know. And if this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe to this channel for more contents like this. Thank you for sticking up to this time. See you in the next video. Cheers.